Hello gents, it's Grant here, and today I've got a request from one of my men down at the pub, one of my pals. His name is Kevin, and he likes playing pool down at the pub. You know, and I always drink a nice ale down there, but he always likes something like this. Foster's, all of those fruit ciders that are designed for ladies. So, I don't actually want to review it, Foster's, but I'm going to do it anyway because he asked. Let's open it up. <clears throat> right, put it in the bottle. So I put it in the glass. Look at that, look at that, look at that. If you wonder what the movement is, it's my whippersnapper dog. She's nine today, I think. Or on Tuesday, I can't remember which one. Anyway, it says here, Foster's crafted to refresh. For the thirsty. So obviously, it's not really a beer for the taste. It's a beer because you're thirsty. Or just because you want to get pissed, to be honest. Because my, my mate Kev... He drinks six pint of these and all six bottles, I should say. Four hundred forty ml bottles a night. Right, so give it a smell. Not really much there. Smells of a beer. Nothing really very special. Yeah, what's the sound of the bag? We've crafted this beer to first quench your perfection. Enjoy ice cold, just as William and I Foster have wanted. Brewed in Europe by Harnacan UK Limited. I don't know got the address. Made in Scotland. I thought it was Australian. I thought it was Aussie. I really did think it was Aussie. Well, it's not Aussie. But anyway, let's dive in and see what it tastes like. Right, Oh, it's shit. Oh dear, really not fresh. I don't understand how Kevin drinks this. It's so disgusting. When I say it's so disgusting, it's not that. It's just got nothing there. Just taste some beer. That's it. It's just been made. It does clinch the threat for your thirst. You could easily drink it whole. But it doesn't mean it's very good. It's very rubbish, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm really not impressed, to be honest. Question is, does it beat Carlin? Because that was disgusting. The thing between this and Carlin, this actually tastes like a beer. It doesn't taste like a very good beer, but it tastes like a beer. Carlin didn't even taste like a beer. So maybe this might get a slightly bit of school. Then, um... <clears throat> then Carlin... Just rubbish, it's utter, utter horseshit, you know. Oh, I had a lovely beer yesterday, I went down to the boozer. I went down to a pub I love going to, um, the Woodman, which is in between uh, Chipping Younger and uh, sort of a uh, Romford Chigwell Way. It's just out of the M25 there, in Essex, of course. Beautiful view, and they sell one of my favourite beers, which I haven't reviewed. Master Brew! Which is very nice. Very nice toffee taste. Anyway, better subject about this. Let's raise it because it's time to. It's got a horrible aftertaste actually. It's really it's got a little sharp aftertaste. Yeah, it's not really much going for it. So I'm gonna rate this beer. Well, Carling, I believe, was 19. So this is gonna be 20. But to be honest, it should just be a zero because it's 
you know, it's not. <coughs> well, at least most of belch. It's you know, it's not a proper beer. It's not English, it's Australian. You know, anyone that's not England isn't good. Australia, they're just cringe, aren't they? But anyway. So there you go, 20 out of 100, as in absolute rubbish. So, thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, see you soon. Bye! Sorry, Kevin, it's shit.